would go with the emotion being guilt. You know, there's a tremendous amount of guilt because you almost had him killed. And your brain is thinking to impress him. So try to impress him with, you know, what you know and how you can show him a good time and you can get him a drink, you know, and you can impress him with how, you know, I want to connect with you and I'm a good brother. Do you follow me? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I want you to try it again, but I want you to bring more guilt to the scene. And when you have all of this guilt in your body and your brain is thinking, I got to try to impress him. Do you understand what I mean when I say to impress? Yeah, like um, kind of more like the part you want me to impress is like, um, like, oh, he'll like me for getting him a drink, right? Getting him a drink. But what about this part in the beginning where you say sometimes I should have married a woman like you did, like a, like Kay, have kids, have a family for once in my life. How are you impressing him there? By like showing him how good his life is. Showing how good, but also you're showing him how insightful you are now, how you've learned. Mm-hmm. Like, look, Mike, look what I've learned. You know, I've learned that I should have a family like you. I've learned that, you know, that, that you have a good life and I should do things like you. And and I, I, I've learned some things like how, how mom used to talk about me. And, and I, I've learned things. I've grown up. I'm not a loser anymore. You can give me responsibilities. I can do things. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So try to impress me and sell it. All right? So okay. where do you feel guilt where you, when you say the word guilt? Say guilt for me. Say guilt aloud. Guilt. Say it again. Guilt. You're probably going to feel it in your chest or in the back of your head. Say guilt. Guilt. Or in your stomach. Where do you feel that kind of start in your body? My chest. Chest. So I'm going to talk you through the exercise, okay? So inhale, exhale, say guilt a few times. Guilt. Inhale, exhale, then say it after you exhale. Guilt. Again. (sighs) Guilt. Keep your eyes open. A little faster for me. Guilt. Faster. Guilt. Now, after every exhale, I want you to think to impress them, to impress them, to impress them. Now, try to impress me with how smart you are. Try to impress me with how this is your world and you're going to bring me in. And when I say action, start the scene. Try to impress me. Ready? And action. Go. Try to impress me like a used car salesman. Sometimes I think I should have married a woman like you did. No, talk with your your normal voice. Normal voice. Use your normal Ethan voice. Sometimes I think I, sometimes I think I should have married a woman like you did, like Kay, have kids, have a family, for for once in my life, be more like Kay. Like or more like Pop. It's not easy being a son, Fredo. It's not easy. Try to impress me. Try to impress me with how smart you are. You know, Mama used to tease me. She'd say, "Um, you don't belong to me. You were left on the doorstep by gypsies." Sometimes I think it's true. So think about that line, what you're saying there, right? Like you're basically saying mom used to tease me by saying somebody left you on our doorstep. I mean, that's pretty fucked up, isn't it? Yeah. Can you imagine your mom saying that to you, Ethan? Hey, uh, Ethan, it's funny. You know, somebody left you on our doorstep. You're not actually our kid. Do you think that'd be funny? No. No, but you're kind of trying to impress him with this horrible thing. And that's a good thing because it's hard to do. We want conflict in a scene. How do you impress somebody with that? And that's hard to do. So if I'm trying to impress you and I'm saying a line like, you know, mom used to tease me. She used to say, you know, you don't, you don't belong to me. You, you were left on the doorstep by gypsies. You know, <laughs> sometimes I think it's true. Look at how smart I am. And then the audience figures out on their own what a loser you are. Okay. Do you follow me? Yeah. It's going completely against the grain of the text. Do you follow what I'm telling you? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh Uh-huh. I don't know you well enough to know if you're just saying yeah or if you really get it. No, I'm pretty sure I understand. It's just, uh, yeah, I haven't haven't thought that deep into it yet. Well, part of being an actor is, aside from acting the lines and doing the objective and the emotion, but, but also interpretation. You know, and figuring out what was the author's intent here. And, you know, the goal of this scene is to show truly how fucked up and a loser you are. You're going to be killed in this movie. But again, I think the key to this that I want you to pull from it, number one, 
the emotion exercise of that breathing. Okay. I know it's weird. You know, and I do breathing heavy by saying guilt and it's awkward. Okay. That's one. And then two, I had you thinking an objective, which is what you were trying to do, your emotion and your objective, trying to impress with these lines, which have nothing to do with impressing, which yeah. is exactly what we want because we don't want to collude with the line. We don't want to say the line as is because that's boring. 